What we are looking for, social contracts, behavioral norms, convention, institution. Hi, I'm Bryn. Hi. Oh, see what I did? Nice to meet you. I reached out my hand, and social convention says that she would put her hand forward too and shake it. Right? And so the idea there being that we are constantly looking for compliance from everyone all the time in ways you didn't, you were not even realizing. This, of course, is why those reward circuits fire when you meet someone that's like you, you respect, you trust, that has high social capital. Because when you're trying to build social capital, because it's the original form of prosperity that your brain understands, it is very rewarding to have people that are good company to keep. So that brings me to the fact that compliance, persuasion, influence are inherently social. Show them social proof. How many of you have ever heard the adage that you're only using 10% of your brain? Hands up. Yeah. You are using 100% of your brain. Your brain is highly opportunistic. Every neuron is working for you. The thing about the 10% is that 10% is the maximum amount that's actually conscious. If you tell them social proof of other people complying, this is why we show all the time other people doing things, we know that that brain then will fire automatically to do like others do. Unfortunately, we're kind of like sheep, according to our mirror neuron system. Right? If that's true, if we demonstrate that, it's a very potent persuasive tactic. What is everyone's favorite word in any language? Their name. Thank you. Yeah. Their name is their favorite word, right? And that's because they love themselves. Who doesn't? So if you want compliance out of somebody, personalize it. Come at it from their angle. Use their name, hearken to their ego. Get them to think about the self in all of it, and they will comply.